Hello and welcome back everybody to another how to set up a social media platform. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Twitter, uh, the 140 character beast with hashtags and we're going to look at how to set that up for a business and then uh, there's a few tricks and fiddly bits that you can use to uh, make sure that uh, Twitter's working to its full extent for you um, as you post out those statuses. Uh, so for those of you that haven't seen any of our other videos, uh, we do a number of these uh, to set up your social media. Uh, so we'd recommend jumping across and taking a look at those. Uh, Twitter's one of many that you should be on. Um, if you are looking to join Twitter, then we'd highly recommend uh, checking those out and signing up to Facebook and Google+. Plus and some of those other ones, so um, let's get straight into it, shall we? So here we are just at twitter.com, um, and we're new to Twitter, so we're gonna sign up. Uh, now the account that we're gonna sign up for is a mock account that we've been using across each of our platforms, whether it be Facebook or Google+, and that mock account is for Joe's Cafe in Sydney. Uh, so for the name there, we're just gonna put Joe's Cafe, um, for the email address, we're just going to put James at Bridget because James at Bridget is setting this up, that is me. Uh, and we're going to input our password there. So sign up for Twitter and then we're going to put our full name in again. So it just asks us to do this just to validate ourselves, make sure we're not some sort of robot uh, making millions of Twitter accounts. Uh, put our email in again there, enter our password and our username. So we put that in there. Joe's Cafe is taken, unfortunately. It'll tell us that. So Joe's Cafe is located on George Street. Um, so it's important for your username to make sure you think of something that um, identifies well with your business. Um, maybe your the local auto shop. Uh, chances are that that as a username is probably already gone, like Joe's Cafe was gone. Uh, so have a think about what's unique to your business and how you can weave that into your username. It might be uh, the local auto shop, auto shop Bathurst or something like that. So chances are that that will be free uh, and you can use that in your username. So have a think about that, what works for your business. Um, only you know that because you know your business the best. Um, and maybe write down a list of 10 and then whittle those down by crossing off ones that um, you test on your friends or go ask your partner or your son or your husband or whoever it may be, go and ask them, oh, what to you sounds the best out of your list of 10? And from there, figure out which one is the best and use that. Because once you set up your username, you can't change it unless you create another profile makes all this work uh, redundant. So we're gonna go Joe's Cafe George Street and sign up. So here we go. Start again bro, bro said. So here we go, it's got our phone validation verification here um, and that's just a security measure that Twitter uses. It's pretty common across a lot of digital uh, services these days, so we're going to select Australia and enter in our mobile number, um, which we're just going to pop in there and verify that now. So upon requesting that, um, you will receive a text message, um, and then in that text message it will have your verification code. Again, this is just to stop uh, automatic systems creating hundreds and hundreds of thousands of uh, Twitter accounts uh, because they can't read a text message. So it's going to prompt you to ask for what you're interested in. Uh, choose one or more of the options below and we'll suggest some good stuff for you. That's just to start to populate your news feed. It will look at people that trend within those certain communities. So popular accounts may be somebody that's a professional tweeter. Yes, that is a real thing. Uh, it might look at what they're tweeting and then start to post that in your news feed. Maybe you're more interested in news or sport or art and design. Anything like that, it'll pick up the more popular ones and start to send those to you in your news feed, in your homepage. So we're just going to go ahead and select a couple here. 
um, because we're quite interested in popular accounts, news and art and design. Click continue. And there you go, it suggested some people uh, within those categories that have quite a good following um, and are recognized for that. So the next step is uh, suggestions for you. So based on those categories that we've selected, uh, it's gonna populate um, some people that I think we might like to follow. Uh, and they're all just relevant to those categories we choose. So it's important here to follow some people because you'll start to get an idea and an understanding of the people that do tweet and tweet regularly and tweet well, uh, the way in which they do it. So as you read people's tweets in your news feed and you start to interact with them and tweet out your own stuff, you'll develop your own style of doing it. Uh, there are different styles, whether you shorten your words like you're being you are or things like that or maybe you spend a bit more time curating what it is you're about to tweet so that everything's spelled correctly and you've just managed to fit it within 140 characters. Uh, so it's important now to follow a few of these leaders in tweeting uh, so that you do get an understanding of how to do it properly. Uh, because if you jump on and you're one of those people that thinks, oh, I'm just jumping on Twitter because I, I have to and my, grand, oh, my, my girlfriend told me I had to or my, my niece told me I had to, you're not going in with the right attitude and you're not gonna get the most out of it. So uh, do uh, come into this with an open mind because if you don't, you're already setting yourself up to fail because you never wanted to do it in the first place and we encourage you not to even try uh, because you'll get a bad experience then and then you'll think that it just doesn't work. Uh, that's wrong, it does work. You can speak to your audience directly through Twitter. Um, you just need to be open to uh, reading uh, people tweeting regularly uh, and having a proper go at trying to figure that out for yourself and the way in which you want to represent your business uh, through the platform. So follow a few people here, maybe you've got some sites or businesses that you know of that you've heard communicate well through Twitter. So search for them here uh, and follow them. So we're just going to select follow all 38 and continue so we can keep going. Uh, and this will redirect us to our customize your profile. So this is where you upload a photo to show uh, as your profile picture. Um, and this is one we've prepared earlier for Joe's Cafe. So it's important here to note that the image you upload um, is what's gonna be the first thing people usually see when they start to search for you in search results and uh, follow you based on hashtags or different things like that, or your at handle. So make sure you upload and select an image that fits properly within the square. Uh, you can see here that you can resize um, the zoom on that image. So the way in which you adjust it within the platform isn't that advanced. So upload an image that already suits. So it's important here that you don't upload something like a landscape image, something that's wider than it is taller, uh, purely because parts of that image that you may like are gonna get cut off uh, and won't even be seen in your display picture. Um, so whether you've already got a, uh, a nice square image of your business or your logo already produced on file, um, or maybe your logo is elongated longer than it is taller, uh, it would be worth here making sure that you get it compressed into something that would fit nicely and use all of the space within that square uh, because this is the first thing people are going to see when they search for your business online uh, for Twitter uh, when they're searching through the Twitter files uh, or perhaps they search for your at Twitter handle, things like that, hashtags. The eye is naturally drawn to visual elements so making sure you've got a good profile picture that quickly people that are already familiar with your business quickly recognize um, is very important here. So upload one that does work well. It's not something that people crock on about because they think it's, it's important when it's not. It is genuinely important to have a visually appealing profile picture uh, because it draws you in and it draws your curiosity uh, and plays off natural human traits such as those uh, types of curiosities. Uh, and will automatically be identifiable. Uh, so you don't have to go through the job of trying to encourage them to read your about me section to find out what you are. So yeah, take some time 
figure out a good or find a good profile picture that works. Uh, maybe you want to experiment with a couple of different ones and go from there. So we've uploaded Joe's Cafe, we're just going to click continue. So the next step is find people you know. So this is where you can import your email contacts, whether it be Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, whatever. Uh, you can just select any of those options there um, and it'll ask you to put in your email address and validate it. And then it will pull in all your contacts within that email uh, email list. And so basically this, what this does, it, it will tell you anybody that's already on Twitter that is in your existing contact list and it will suggest that you either follow them or ask them to follow you. And this is a good way of just building up your initial fan base and followers. Because when you start to get new followers come and see uh, your tweets and what you're about and that kind of thing, it's important to have, a, have an existing base already there. They will just be your friends and family and existing customers perhaps, things like that. Uh, but at least it gives the new user some confidence in what they're following is a credible source and that can be something as simple as having a couple hundred followers uh, or maybe even 50 to 100 followers if you're a uh, small niche community or business. So build that fan base with your friends and family. Um, the new user has no idea who they are so they'll probably just assume that they're all people interested in what you're saying. Um, even if your girlfriend's bored to death of uh, you talking about Twitter like mine is. So uh, yeah, take the time to find your friends, uh, get them to follow you and you follow them in turn and it'll build up again uh, a bit more presence for your Twitter account. Uh, we're just going to skip this step though. Uh, this is a mock account so we don't want to be spamming our friends and family with too many invitations to Twitter. So we're going to skip over that. So the sixth step here is we found people you know. So based on the email address that we signed up with, um, and the other accounts that we have existing, um, it's proposed some people for us to follow that it thinks are our friends or family or people of interest. Uh, we're going to unselect them, similar to the reason why we're not emailing everybody, is because every time someone follows you, uh, you'll get a notification. So we don't want to spam these people with too many notifications that Joe's Cafe, which doesn't even exist, is now following them. So we're going to unselect them all and go continue, but again, we would recommend that you do uh, follow these people purely because, similar to those ones that were the category uh, tweeters um, from your sports and your arts and your news and that kind of thing that we followed earlier, um, these guys, if you follow them, you'll start to get a feel for how they um, speak and communicate through their Twitter accounts. Uh, the tones that they use, the hashtags that are popular um, and the way in which they communicate is really important. So you want to tap into that um, social psyche, I suppose. Uh, so following them and becoming familiar with um, other people out there in your community tweeting uh, is a good way of doing that uh, and helping you craft the way in which you tweet yourself uh, for your business. So we're going to skip over that, like I said and move on and we arrive on our home screen now the first thing you'll probably notice is the confirm your email address uh, at the top of the screen um, that's basically again just another step in twitter's security process to validate that you are a real person that you are really intending to use twitter um, as an active user so what that means is that we're going to have to jump into our email address shortly um, and just confirm that email address is legitimate. Uh, and james at bridget.com is certainly is legitimate. I'd recommend uh, dropping that lovely fellow an email if you have any questions about your Twitter page, setting it up, um, what certain things do and how they impact your Twitter account. Uh, email that guy or email info at bridget.com uh, because they've got all the answers for you. So just to quickly run you through the layout here, you'll see at the top left hand of the screen, uh, home, notifications, messages, and discover. Now this is pretty much Twitter in all of its realms. So home is your news feed, um, and that's what we're looking at currently. Uh, you, on your left, you've got Joe's Cafe Sydney. Underneath that, you've got our username, which now appears as at Joe's Cafe, George. Uh, and now what your at Twitter handle is, 
um, is it's the way in which you tag people and allow yourself to be tagged on Twitter. So anybody can write in at Joe's Cafe George, just had a great coffee. Uh, it's easy, it's, uh, it's quick, uh, and it's a way of messaging you directly without having to go in, like someone's page, or request a friend request. So, as I said, at, at Joe's Cafe George, um, it's an easy way of being identified. People don't need to be following you, or be your friend, or like your page in order to communicate to you. Uh, that's the beauty of Twitter, you can chat to anybody, uh, and they can chat back to you, um, God willing, they want to do that. So that's what the at Joe's Cafe George is. That's your at Twitter handle. That's what it's called when people ask you. Um, and then underneath that, it shows how many tweets you've got, a little summary, and how many people you're following. So we followed 34 people through those initial setup stages as you start to find more friends and businesses that you do want to follow or um, sources of information, that number will continue to grow. Underneath that, we've got our trends. So trends are things that are trending on Twitter that are popular by uh, the sheer number of people either using that hashtag or that at Twitter handle or that social topic. So all that's being monitored by Twitter um, and will start to appear here in your trend section um, so that you can be on top of social trends and social phenomenon. So this will start to change and evolve uh, based on Twitter's algorithms as you become more active and engage in more content across Twitter. So what that means is uh, you start to tweet more about different things in Sydney that are going on in George Street, uh, perhaps it's down at the Opera House or whatever it may be. Twitter's going to recognise that you're more interested in things around that area and therefore what's trending in that area because that's more relevant to you. Twitter's all about the user experience um, they have limited ad paid advertising opportunities and that's because they don't want to ruin that experience. Something that a lot of other social media uh, kind of go at full headed. Twitter's taken a back step and made sure the user experience is what it's, is at the heart of this platform. So by being more engaged and engaging with more people and uh, more relevant people, don't go out and spam every single person you may potentially like at some stage in your life because that's just going to muddle things up for your trends. Um, not that it's hugely important to have a succinct trends uh, little section there, uh, but it does help you stay on top of uh, those social trends that may be occurring um, in your local community and area. Uh, an example of that could be perhaps you sp sponsor the local rugby team um, and they're particularly active and have a great fan base on Twitter that you're unaware of. Um, you'll start to see them show up in your trending. So the Bathurst Bulldogs or the CSU uh, Colts team is in the grand final of the local rugby t competition. You'll start to see that Go CSU or something like that, Go CSU footy. Uh, it'll start to appear in your trends. So that's something that you can then tap into that you weren't aware of previously or perhaps it's not something you sponsor but you do want to tap onto it already. Uh, tap onto it and get some exposure anyway. Um, all you have to do is at that uh, sporting team or club or whatever it may be, good luck in your grand final today. Hashtag Joe's Cafe. Uh, it's as simple as that and you get some exposure and you, you know, you're likely to get some new fans, especially if you're tweeting some very positive things um, in support of that cause. So the trends is where you come to find that. You can also manually change uh, certain parameters which is the change option there um, so that you can dictate what it is and what it isn't you want to see. Uh, we would request though or we would recommend that you go into that and you select um, the options that are relevant to you but don't constrict it too much. Uh, if you constrict it too much you're going to lose out on a lot of different things that uh, are trending within your community and if you're very niche in that regard you will miss uh, certain topics. So, that's the little left hand side of your home feed. The middle of it is your news feed and that's just where people tweeting different topics that you've, uh, that's where people that you follow, uh, what they're tweeting will appear here. What they tweet will appear here. So you can see here origin, news.com.au, um, they're all posting tweets um, 
and that's why that's appearing there. To the right of that is who to follow, and that's just people who Twitter think you could follow. That could be based on um, friends of friends that you follow, so followers of followers that you follow. Um, that sounded awfully confusing. Uh, or it could be other businesses that you're interested in, things like that. So Twitter's always working to try and make sure you're more engaged with the platform because the more you're engaged, uh, the better it is for them and the better it is for you. So that's what that is. Uh, so what we're going to do now though um, is jump up into our settings, but I'll just quickly finish explaining the other three elements to the realm I mentioned before at the top left hand. So notifications, messages and discover. Uh, we'll get to that eventually, but notifications is when someone tweets you, they star, they favorite one of your tweets or they retweet it or they use your hashtag, it's going to appear there. Uh, messages is you can instant message people directly. Uh, so that's not a public tweet, it's something, a message you send directly to someone's inbox like you would an email. So uh, that's where you'll go to find that kind of stuff. So Discover is just where you go to find something new um, and explore the world of Twitter. In the drop down menu, selecting Joe's Cafe. You'll see here a summary of our account. Um, our username, which is our at Twitter handle, Joe's Cafe George, you can change that. Our email address, uh, it's not publicly displayed, which you can see there, so don't worry about people contacting you directly if you use a personal one to create a business account. Um, the language and the time zone. So we're going to jump down now on the left hand side you'll see account security privacy etc etc we're going to jump down to design and what this is this is your theme layout for your twitter account so you can select a few different options here um, as well as importing your own image uh, we usually recommend to clients that you don't upload your own image unless you have something that's really amazing and appeals to this platform and the reason for that is because um, as you can see there, we've selected the leafy one, but it gets cut off on the side um, and your newsfeed always appears in the middle. So unless the image you're uploading um, has some great visual elements to the left and the right of the image um, and is proportioned correctly so that it fits to the screen, it's not going to look that good. Another thing you can select is apps, which we're just going to click on now after our theme save. Uh, and applications are just additional applications that you can add to your Twitter account. We're tweeting a lot of status updates through Twitter. Um, if we log in through Facebook, um, when we go to publish our tweet later on, we can have it so that uh, that tweet then can also be published on Facebook. Um, you don't want to do this all the time because certain tweets are relevant for Twitter but not Facebook status updates and certain Facebook status updates aren't relevant for Twitter. Um, in some cases they are, and this allows you to post across different platforms at the same time. Um, but do keep in mind that different things are reserved for different uh, locations. So by activating that application in our Twitter account, it allows us to do that. Uh, there are other applications that you can incorporate into your Twitter feed. Um, we'd recommend keeping it pretty basic at the moment, unless you're a larger corporation and have the resource to manage those additional applications. Uh, if you do have any questions about these though, please do get in contact with info at bridget.com um, and we'll help troubleshoot those with you. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to go back to Joe's um, Cafe profile. So Joe's Cafe profile, which we just accessed by going to the top right the logo of Joe's Cafe, our profile picture, next to the tweet button. Uh, this is different to your home newsfeed. Your profile and your newsfeed are two different things and we can also add our background cover photo. Um, so like that at Facebook and Google and YouTube, uh, Google Plus that is, Google My Business, uh, you can add a background photo to add additional visual elements. Uh, and we're gonna include a little bio, a location, and our website. So our bio is that Joe's Cafe is a family-run business in the heart of Sydney. Uh, heart of the city, sorry. Now, the bio here, and we talk about this in our other setup videos, it's important when you're managing multiple social media platforms to have a description 
that you can carry across each. Now Twitter is a platform that's all about short, sharp content. 140 characters is the maximum that you can tweet about. So your description should be short and sharp as well. People aren't there to read a novel. They're there to read a couple of characters and then move on to the next piece of content. Like it if they like it, move on if not. So Joe's Cafe is a family run business in the heart of the city is a term or a sentence that we've used across each of our platforms. And the benefit of doing this is because SEO, search engine optimization, is the gateway for most businesses to their website. Nobody, or rarely do people type in a URL these days. They go to Google and they search it from there. Uh, and the way that that works is it uses uh, what's called spiders, which crawl the internet and look for different uh, keywords that relate to the same thing. So when people search for Joe's Cafe George Street in Sydney, uh, they're gonna see a Twitter account, they're gonna see a Facebook page, they're gonna see a Google Plus account, they're gonna see a YouTube account, they're gonna see a website, because we've used that same description across each platform. So keeping it consistent, focusing on Joe's Cafe as a key term, um, it's a family run business, is important for what we stand for. It's in the heart of the city. We're not too worried about the location here because there's a separate section for that which we can input Sydney as our location and that will again help with our search optimization. So think about these things as you go because uh, the online environment is a bit like an ecosystem in that what you do in one area can affect what happens in another. So by making sure that you set up all your social media platforms the correct way the first time, you can go back and edit it later but it's a little more trickier um, and at least if you do it once, do it right, you don't have to worry about it again. Um, it will improve your business over time. Um, so take the time and the effort to do these things correctly now and will help you down the track. Here we are. Twitter is now posing our first couple of tweets um, or we can write our own and publish that to the big wide world and contribute to the 200 billion tweets a year so we're going to write our first tweet by, and that's Twitter sorted smiley face. Hashtag coffee, hashtag Bridget. Thanks for listening today. I hope you found this um, useful and have your business up and running in no time. Um, pay attention, uh, go back and rewatch this if you need to. Pay attention to certain different elements as you go. Um, particularly hashtags, your Twitter handle, um, images that you upload, all that kind of stuff, uh, because it is important, it does affect you down the line. Doing it well now will help you down that line. Um, and come back and visit us. If you're having trouble setting up any of your other social media platforms, um, jump across and access those uh, through the bridged.com website. Um, register and then sign up and they're all yours. They'll set you up with a good to go account on those platforms. Uh, and happy tweeting everybody. Uh, hashtag Bridget is out for this session. Uh, and let us know if you have any other queries. Like us on Facebook, Bridget. Uh, follow us on Twitter, at Bridget. Uh, and like us on Instagram, we post some pretty cool photos on there. Uh, and check out our videos on YouTube because they're also very helpful. Um, some snackable content there that you don't necessarily need to subscribe to. Uh, thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bridget out.